Hey, greetings, fellow productivity seekers, Garland, Captain Time here. And today I want to show you a great tool called TextBlaze. So I've been using text expanders for a long time and text expanders are a great way to au automate things like email replies, support replies, forms, uh, documents and things like that. So text expanders text blaze uh, this is the desktop version i'm showing you they also have a chrome version desktop is currently in beta so a few things don't work quite the same way as the as the chrome version but both are just excellent uh, the reason that i'm using the desktop version rather than the chrome is because it lets me also insert text uh, snippets into apps that are not online based such as my note taking program so here's a snippet, here's an example. So this is if you wanted to create a signature for yourself, you would write, type your signature in here, and then you would uh, type in slash SIG whenever you want to call it up. So if I were to type at slash SIG, you'll see it automatically drops that in for me. And that will drop it in for me after using the Chrome version with any online uh, form, email program, etc. Or if you're using the desktop version, it will drop in anywhere. Now, as you see, there's some other options here too. You can use some stylized text uh, by using the buttons here. You can add colors, fonts, links. Uh, the Pro version also allows you to add images so you can do a lot with them as well. In addition to text, there's some great things you can do here where you can insert the current date, for example. Uh, that way, by just you know typing in this particular case, it will insert that. So you can choose what you want to insert. So I have a slash date command that I use to insert a date anywhere. You can also uh, put your cursor anywhere by you know calling that up. And I love this part, you can create forms. So if you're going to uh, be able to send some information, but you want to customize it by adding some information, if you go here, uh, in this case, it's just type form. Oops, did that wrong. Try it out, slash form. You'll see it automatically allows you to put in the person's uh, name, you know, hi Dave. Um, how many widgets they bought and it drops in the name everywhere and then you go insert and it automatically puts in the entire the entire thing there and so on so there's a lot of different things that will do there's some dynamic commands over here you can add a text field a keyboard press date and time clipboard creating forms uh, you see there's a lot of different information here some dynamic logic you can create formulas and have it calculate such as you see here it calculated the price per widget um, if else and tons of different information and also connects with their uh, data blaze uh, database program which is very similar to Airtable. So how do I use this in real life? So you've seen some examples here. So first off, affiliate links. I'm regularly having to send someone my affiliate link for something. So what I do is I just uh, have it set up here uh, so that I've got the affiliate. So if I want to send somebody the affiliate link to buy me a coffee, I just type slash, I put A for affiliate. That's just my own choice. You can do whatever you want. And that automatically drops in the link to my buy me a coffee uh, link where people can do that. So I put all my affiliate links in that way as well. I also write a lot of uh, reviews and articles. So in some cases, I want to send people to a URL rather than to a, uh, an affiliate link. So for example, if I want someone to go to my Airtable article on my website, I would type slash U Airtable. You know, again, I'm using U uh, for URL in this particular case. And this allows me to send people to my articles, my URL. For example, if I want to send someone to my coaching program, I go slash U coach and it automatically drops in the link to my coaching program so that I can send them that. This saves me hours every day, prob pro probably, I would imagine a couple of hours a day, probably eight to 10 hours per week. It's just uh, insane how much time this saves me. Now, here's an interesting use for it. I belong to an online networking group called BX Networking. And so what I do here is I've set up a lot of my follow-ups, my referrals, and my invitations uh, using this particular uh, system. So for example, if I wanted to invite someone to be come to our next BX meeting, I can do this here. Now, let's just go to show you how it looks in real life. So I go to Gmail. 
So what I'm going to do in this case is start off with a new email message, compose, and then I'm just going to go to the subject line here. And this is what I love is this will put in both the subject line and the body for me. Type in slash BX Spruce, which is where I live, Spruce Grove, invite, INV, and it automatically comes up here and I can go, uh, hi, Susan. And our next meeting will be on, say, February 8th. Then if I click on this, it automatically drops in both the subject line and the body here, and it's got these other information. Then, of course, I can customize it. You know, I, I could say why I thought about them or, or, you know, we'd really love to have someone from your industry in our group and things like that. So as you can see, just a brilliant tool for that. Uh, and that's another way that I, I use it for that um, networking. So uh, commands, uh, you can put a date. So I've got the slash date anywhere. This is really useful for me because I can you know, add this to any of my notes or anything else and it will automatically put in today's date. You can see it's you know February 2nd today when I'm doing this, so that's there. Uh, there's e long form emails. So this is proposals, sales letters, uh, LinkedIn welcomes, uh, Ask my clients for a testimonial, uh, new virtual assistant intake, my bio, uh, if people ask for it, just tons of information here. Also, because I work with people around the world, I also have to work with a lot of symbols. So for example, um, and I can never remember the keyboard shortcuts to put in for euros and pounds. So if I have to send an invoice in euros, I can just type slash s euro. And of course, whenever you're doing this on screen, you make typos and it automatically creates the Euro one there. And again, if I want to, uh, same thing with degree, like if you're doing degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. So that's the, the tool. As you can see, it just saves me a lot of time with all the various emails and the different things I do. Uh, fantastic. It's got a good free version and there's paid versions as well. If you want to see the uh, pricing, uh, you know, price, uh, you know, $2.99 per month billed yearly. So that would be about, you know, say $3 times, you know, uh, uh, 12, about $36. So it's, it's quite affordable or you can go monthly by paying, you know, quite affordable monthly. And it gives you up to a thousand snippets for the, for the pro version. So I think that uh, that should probably do for, for most people. Another great thing I like about TextBlaze is they've got an amazing community. Uh, so whenever I go here and ask questions, they get back to me really quickly. The support people do jump into the community. So it's not just peers. Support has been excellent. Uh, they've helped me so troubleshoot if any issues I've had or if I'm trying to set up something complex, they're really great to throw in ideas and things like that. So support's also really important there. So as I say, I highly recommend uh, TextBlaze. Uh, it's, it's a tool I use every day. It's one of those tools that I, I could not be as productive as I am without this. So thank you so much for listening. We hope you found this useful. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And you can support independent content creation by clicking on the Buy Me a Coffee link below. As always, reach out at captaintime.com or leave a comment down below.